Hello everyone. Here I'll be relating mathematics to the topic dance and music of Uttarakhand. So under this, we'll be seeing the subtopic shapes and patterns in Uttarakhandi dance as well as the patterns in music. Geometry in dance. Geometry is perhaps the most apparent subfield of mathematics present in dance. So we can consider the different shapes, patterns, angles and symmetry of many different aspects of dance. So let us consider some dance forms of Uttarakhand. So firstly, Cholia. So this is an image of a dancer performing Cholia. Let us look at the simplified version. So here the arms of the dancer form an angle of 90 degree and 180 degrees each. So 180 degree means a straight line. The spine of the dancer is perpendicular to the ground and the legs of the dancer form an obtuse angle and 90 degree each. So these are all the observations which could be done just by looking at a single dancer. Now let us look at a group of dancers who are performing the same dance form Cholia. So here the number of possible relations also increase. So here is the simplified version where each person is shown. So we can observe that the four dancers, they form a quadrilateral which is roughly similar to a square. So the legs of the dancers act as the diagonals of the quadrilateral. And we can also observe that the left half of the quadrilateral is symmetrical to the right and that the top half of the quadrilateral is symmetrical to the bottom half. Let us look at another dance form called as Bharadanati. So here is the simplified version. So we can observe that the dancers form a circular shape while dancing and the women have their arms at acute angles. The men have their arms at right angles. So we can also see that the women are all doing the same step while the men are all doing the same step. So this is a pattern. So thus we can conclude that symmetry and geometry are vital parts of dance. Now coming to music. So music is all about rhythm, scale, pitch and patterns of certain notes. So by rearranging uh, the seven notes of music in different orders, we can form different songs. So let us take an example of one of the most famous songs of Uttarakhand called as Bedu Pako Bara Masa. So given below are the stanzas of the song. So one thing that we can observe in both the cases is that each line is repeated twice, that is the pattern 2, 2, 2, 2. So this is in fact repeated for all the stanzas of the song. So we can say that uh, the arithmetic progression 2, 2, 2, 2 is common for all the stanzas of the song. So thus, the notations of music made by musicians are itself connected to maths and we can conclude by saying that dance and music are not devoid of mathematics.